Hey friends, it's Aki Dearest. So you're probably watching this because you have just recently seen the trailer for Detective Pikachu and uh, <laughs> oh my God, do I have some things to say about it. I, I don't hate this. I really don't hate this. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. If you haven't seen the trailer, please just go look at that for a second comeback because all the references I'm gonna be making, I have a few things to say about them. So getting right into it, Detective Pikachu is a story about a Pokemon trainer named Tim Goodman. One day his father mysteriously disappears after a car crash, which then leads our Pokemon trainer to end up in Rhyme City where he meets Detective Pikachu. And through some miracle happenstance, he is able to understand him and they work together to go find his father. That is, does not sound like the traditional Pokemon that we're used to. But you know, it's Detective Pikachu, so one can only assume that it's going to be mystery. And you know what? I'll, I'll take it. It deviates from the traditional get all the badges, get to be the Pokemon trainer, the best that no one ever was. I am so giving this movie a shot. Detective Pikachu will be directed by Rob Letterman, who is the same person who brought you Shark Tale, loved it. Goosebumps in 2015, didn't watch it. Monsters vs. Aliens, didn't watch that. And Gulliver's Travels, still didn't watch that. But I have seen Shark Tale and that is one of my favorite animations. So yeah, it's very interesting to see that this movie is going to be a side story of its own that just happens to have the Pokemon universe. I'm assuming that there's not going to be any Ash, Brock, or Misty, or Professor Oak, which to be honest might be kind of a smart move because I have this underlying feeling that if those people were in it, then people would have something to compare it to and almost nine times out of 10 with live actions, people just lose their minds. So I'm okay with this being a side story and watching the trailer, it's something new, it's something fresh. And you know what? After seeing this trailer, it seems like a pretty family friendly movie that's going to have me chuckle now and then, especially due to the fact that Pikachu, get this, is voiced by Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, that's right. Deadpool Pikachu is canon. Also watching the detective of Pikachu trailer was almost like watching the Alvin and the Chipmunks trailer. It's that live action you never asked for, the live action you never think you ever needed, but there's something oddly charming about the fact that now you're just seeing it. <laughs> With how everything has been organized in this film, from the way that it's casted to just what the story is about, this is a movie that I never thought that I would be optimistic for. Ryan Reynolds has saved us all. Oh my god. What must have the auditions for Pikachu been like when they were trying to figure out who to voice it. I'm not against, oddly enough, I'm not against Ryan Reynolds voicing Pikachu, but someone tell me what happened in the audition room. It must have been like, next! Pika. Not feeling it, sweetheart. Next! Pika. Mm -mm. Next! Pikachu. Next! <laughs> Ugh, this is terrible. We're never gonna find anyone to play Pikachu. Oh. Hi, Ryan Reynolds. It's nice to see you again. Okay, well, let's see what you got. I will shoot your fucking cat. Brilliant! I love it. It's unique. I love it. It's Ryan Reynolds. You reject Pikachu's cool because you know that it represents the glitter of commercialism. You're hired. I just, I can't figure out how else this could have gone. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Detective Pikachu, a cute little mouse electric Pokemon filled with electricity, cuteness, and sarcasm. It's like Rob Letterman saw Pokemon I Choose You and became enlightened once that final scene of Pikachu started talking came up. Look, I don't give a fuck how weird people thought that scene was. That was a beautiful scene and almost made me cry. Look, Pokemon has done a lot of cliche things in the past. The moment you start crying because Pokemon's tears are coming out to somehow revive Ash from being a stone, you know that Pokemon is really embedded somewhere deep inside of you that it can get away with the most cliche cliches of all cliches. Also, for those of you that want to know when it's being released, it is in the summer of 2019, so uh, grab your tickets. Now, going on to some other thoughts about things that people were talking about with the Detective Pikachu movie. Let's talk about the way that the Pokemon look. Do I think that the way they did the CGI and the art was creepy? Was it cute? Was it accurate? Honestly, I think it's a little bit of all three because let's be honest here, if Pokemon were real, I'm pretty sure they would look a lot similar to what you see in this movie. And if you go online and you find fan art, honestly, it doesn't look that much different. It's pretty damn accurate. They're going to look just as bug-eyed, scaly, furry, and creepy, and realistic as any other animal out there. I'm sorry for crushing your dreams that you've wanted anime to be real. I know that you've wanted to bang your waifus for years, but this is just how it's going to be. Not that I'm pertaining to anyone that might have a Pokemon fetish out there. I mean, you do you. You can even compare it to the parody of the Pokemon trailer made by Mega Steak Man years ago, where he did a Pokemon parody trailer. So if you look at the Pokemon in this movie, I mean, I think a lot of them are pretty spot on. Like Charmander, accurate. Pikachu, accurate. Psyduck, that's accurate. Bulbasaur, not too bad. Jigglypuff, <coughs> I don't know. What the hell happened to Mr. Mime? You know, to be fair, I guess Mr. Mime is based off of human anatomy. That is how he'd look. But you mean to tell me that Ash's mom, who is a 
alone with just one Pokemon is alone with this thing. I mean, this is a voiceover to Ash breaking the fourth wall and ripping, I don't know, some ripple time effect in the parallel universe or whatever science terms I need to use for this. I'm speaking to you, Ash Ketchum. I think you need to uh, delay Misty's bike, delay being the best Pokemon trainer, go back to Pallet Town and just kind of check up on your mom because I've seen enough hentai with this face to know where this is probably going. And everyone knows that Ash's mom is bae as fuck, so I'm quite concerned. Lastly, if anyone actually ever thinks that this is ruining Pokemon, I mean, think again. Pokemon is a big enough successful franchise that they can do things like this. They've been following the same method with all of their games for years. It's time that they got a little experimental. They did that with Pokemon Go, and now they're doing it with Detective Pikachu. Not just this movie, but also the game. So it's gonna be interesting seeing Pokemon being more experimental with, um, Ryan Reynolds. Like I said, I don't hate it. I don't. I'm going to watch it. And even at the worst case scenario, if this flops and gives people more fuel to trash whatever live action comes out before they've even seen it, you know, and I know, that we're all still going to pick up any other Pokemon franchise games that's going to come out. And we're going to forget all of this ever happened. But if it turns out to be a great success or even just a laugh for everybody in good spirit, then everyone wins. No matter what, I know that you're still going to participate in Community Day on Pokemon Go. So everyone, just, just relax here. But let me know what you guys think of Detective Pikachu. Are the Pokemon Pokemon actually freaking you out? Do you think it's gonna be good, bad, maybe not so? I don't know. Subscribe to my channel for more anime and otaku related content. See you guys in the next video. Bye!